Hey there friends, it's Paul and welcome to another video and today we will be customizing Neo Dragonoid. So for anyone who's been here on the channel for a bit, you'll know that I have already customized the Neo Drago using some metallic Gundam markers, but this time around I'm going to use some more classic colors to give this Drago a more accurate look to the show. Funny thing, this particular Drago here is my first ever Neo Dragonoid in my collection. And in fact, I think that this Drago here might have also been my first ever new Vestroya Bakugan, so that's cool as well. Anyways, for this project we will only need two main colors, yellow and white, and in my case, as usual, I will be using some Gundam markers, but you can also use acrylic paints or the paints of your particular liking. So yeah, all this being said, let's get started with this custom Bakugan project. So first up we will begin by painting in the details on the outer side of Neo Dragonoid's wings with the yellow Gundam markers. And for this project in general I'd recommend you use a smaller brush cause like 95% of the details on this Bakugan are small or super small and require you to be super precise. In my case as usual I'm going with the super mini brush to complete this project and as always this mini brush never fails. Here off camera I went ahead and painted those little panel lines around this outer wing section had to get up close so I couldn't really record while I was painting these lines. But here I recommend holding the brush like a pencil and basically moving it as if it was a pencil. And everything should work out fine. Next up we painted all the details around Neo Drago's two little fins. <laughs> I guess they are his secondary wings or something like that. Anyways here I first started by trying to paint in the borders of those areas and afterwards applied the classic light taps of paint technique to really get the paint onto these little details. Here I applied two coats of paint. I went ahead and applied the first coat around the entire area, let it dry for about 15 to 20 minutes and afterwards applied the second one. And this time around I can say that this yellow Gundam marker really cooperated with me and worked quite well. <laughs> to be honest I was afraid that it would be as problematic like in the Infinity Drago video but the paint attached quite quickly to the surfaces, dried quickly, so that was really really good. The only problem is that markers of this particular color tend to dry super fast so I might have to buy some new ones very very soon. <laughs> Next we continued by painting in the details on the sides of Drago and here what I tried doing first was covering the borders of the details with the yellow and afterwards filling in the missing spots as best as possible so that the overall finish looked smooth. Once again here the light taps of paint technique might come in handy for you. And next up we painted in the inner details on Neo Drago's wings and for some reason my phone just recorded when I painted one of the wings so sorry about that. But here I just painted in those little lines on the wings and yep that was pretty much it. And afterwards we continued by painting in Neo Drago's neck and here my phone decided to once again choke and not record the entirety of this section. But in this particular part I say that using a super mini brush is definitely a must because you have to be super careful here to not get the yellow onto areas that aren't supposed to be yellow and also to get the yellow onto more difficult to reach parts of the neck especially on the back. Also in this particular section I would totally recommend that you apply max two coats of paint preferably just one to ensure that all mechanisms around this part work fine once the paint dries. The layers that this yellow Gundam marker makes, as well as the red ones, surprise surprise, can be a bit thicker than some other colors, so you need to be careful with that when applying way too many coats cause they might mess up your Bakugan and prevent it from opening normally. And to finish up using the yellow Gundam markers, we will now go on to paint all the details around Neo Drago's head. We will be repainting Drago's horns as well as his eyebrows. So first we begin by painting in the sides of the horns and then the top parts. We then let them dry for about 15 minutes and then lift them up a bit to paint the back sides. 
In the case of the front horn, I first painted in the front side with the horn lowered, then let it dry for a bit, and then went on to paint the other sides of it. And afterwards we went on to repaint the eyebrows and here nothing was problematic so yay for that. And here I'll take use of this section to talk about how to paint the two little diamond details on Drago's back and head cause surprise my phone didn't record when I painted them in. So what I recommend doing here is to first take your brush and draw the outline of these details so you can hold the brush as if it was a pencil here to complete this. And afterwards apply the light taps of paint technique to fill in all parts of these two little diamonds. Now onto Dragonoid's claws, we painted these by using a white Gundam marker and contrary to the yellow one, the layers of paint this color makes are super thin. So once you finish applying the first coat, you'll see that some of the original yellow will still be quite visible. Don't worry about this, cause here you can be a bit more generous with the number of coats you apply. In my case, I think that I applied like 3 or 4 coats. The good thing is that this color tends to dry a bit quicker than other ones, so I only had to wait like 5 to 10 minutes between coats and then continued painting. And to finalize using this white Gundam marker we painted in Drago's feet and once again here using the super mini brush is a must for this section cause the details are just so small here. <laughs> My best recommendation here is to take things slow, do not rush, try to be as precise as possible. Kinda weird but on one side I started by painting in the bottom part of the details and then worked my way upwards and on the other side I did the opposite. Guess it had to do with the angle in which I was holding Drago but yeah that worked so that's good. <laughs> And to finally finish this project, I decided to paint that little line on Drago's neck with a metallic blue to symbolize the little diamond core he has in the anime. And yep, with this painted in, we can finally say... And this Neo Dragonite custom is finally complete. And I'm happy to say that Neo Drago is looking pretty refreshed, really cool. The yellow and white details really contrast with the red plastic really well. And each of them stands out and looks pretty vibrant and shiny. I'm particularly in love with the details on the outer side of Drago's wings cause those yellow panel lines look really amazing. But yeah, painting this more anime accurate version of Drago has been a project I've been wanting to do for a while now and I'm really happy with the way that he ended up looking. Hope that you all like this Drago. So yeah my friends, this has been my customizing tutorial of Neo Dragonoid, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more Bakugan content. And as always, thanks for watching the video. And yep, it's been Paul and I'll see you in the next video.